Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. I'm excited to share one of the essential ingredients in Turkish cuisine, how to make tomato paste at home. Since it's the basic ingredient, we have plentifully in the market, so uh, until now I didn't think of uh, trying it, but I got many comments from you to try and have shared the recipe with you, so here it is. Let's get started. We usually have these plum tomatoes in this season in the market for lower prices. It was like 150 Turkish liras and the thing is it also has lots of meat, not too many juice. So it is perfect for making tomato paste. There are other tomato options you can use. We have a very famous Çanakkale tomatoes. Um, to make a different taste, you can uh, mix it with those or uh, beef tomatoes would be another choice. So as you can see, I just cut it in four. With this easy technique I'm gonna show you, we don't have to uh, peel and take out the seeds one by one. So here I have about two and a half kilograms of tomatoes. I put it in a colander-like tray that I have and I'm just going to sprinkle about two tablespoons rock salt over them. I'm just rubbing them a little bit with the salt and going to do the other half of the tomatoes in the same way. This time I'm gonna use this colander which is the one I'm gonna uh, strain the tomatoes to make a paste later. Before preparing the second layer, I just sprinkled some salt and continue to cut the other tomatoes. It is optional, but from time to time, I just get rid of the uh, green parts too. So why did we add the salt to the uh, tomatoes? It will help to drain some of the uh, juice from the tomatoes and it will be a clear juice, not the, actually the tomato itself. And in about five hours, let's see how much juice came out. So here is why I used a colander to drain the juice. In each batch, I got about one cup a juice coming out because of the uh, salt we added. Now I'm gonna transfer all the tomatoes to my pan. Try to choose a wider pan if you have. Uh, it will help to reduce more uh, juice from it when you are cooking. I'm gonna cook the tomatoes on low medium heat. Since it is very crowded now, better to mix from time to time to get even cooking. And continue to cook for, for about 15 minutes until they are soft. After they are soft enough, I'm going to blend it to make a puree now. It needs a strong hand blender, otherwise you can also use a food processor for it. Of 
okay now I have a nice tomato puree and we are going to strain it with this colander it is much more easier now since we cooked and pureed to get rid of all the seeds and skin since the puree was still hot I use the back of the measuring cups I have but you can also make it with your hands after it is cooled down a little bit I'm gonna transfer what is left from the puree to another bowl and going to strain it a little bit with a finer uh, colander later. I have nice and smooth uh, tomato puree on my pan and going to do the rest too. And here with a finer strainer, I'm gonna get as much as juice I can from the pulp again. After getting out every bit of the juice, now we are ready to cook to make our tomato paste. It takes a lot of hours, like five, six, but you make it really on low heat like a candle light and just stir it for a while from time to time and that's it it will reduce its uh, juice after as you can see if you don't have much time maybe you need to go out you can continue to cook the other day uh, that's what I did actually and just add about two tablespoons olive oil and check the taste it has to be a little bit saltier than a uh, regular because salt will also help to uh, keep it fresh I have nice thick puree as you can see it doesn't spread to the pan so it's done in the countryside of Turkey in Anatolia when there is a lot of plentiful of sun in hot days in summer they usually cook it under the sun and it makes it even more delicious but it is of course uh, harder to do it in big cities I was very curious about how much tomato paste I got from 5 kilograms of tomatoes so I'm going to scale it in a moment. After you transfer your tomato paste to a jar, make sure you cover it all the way with olive oil. This way it will be sealed from the air and will help not to get mold on top because sometimes it can happen. And make sure you keep it in the fridge. So let's scale it. I just first scale a empty jar and here it is about 630 grams let's say and for the rest I just used a small bowl because it wasn't that much and this one was about 260 grams so in total I got about 900 grams of tomato paste from 5 kilograms we use it widely in Turkish cuisine along with pepper paste which I already shared recently on my channel. Check the links for the paste recipe and also some example dishes you can use. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another Turkish food and travel videos. Afiyet olsun.